Well, we've had this rusty chariot now for about oh, what is it, seven months, seven months or something like that. So I thought I would do a little update on it and um, tell you what it's been like uh, owning one. Well, I stand by what I said in the first uh, review I've done on this vehicle, and that being that she's a bit slow, and she's also uh, very noisy, and she's a bit of an uncomfortable ride. It does shake you around a lot when you're in there, but um, you do get used to it. But putting all that, um, them little problems aside, um, we've had no trouble with it at all. Uh, she's been a pretty good starter. We've never had no mechanical breakdowns or anything like that. And to be honest, we're starting to really enjoy um, owning this vehicle. It's made a lot of difference to our lifestyles. Um, as you can see, we, we even have little picnics in it. <laughs> it gets us to places where um, we would have a bit of a trouble getting to if we were going on jeepneys, etc. And so, you know, look, looking at that that point of it, it's been it's been a great uh, purchase. Um, a lot of people have uh, spoken about the canvas. Uh, it seems to be one of the things that a lot of people moan about. Um, that's the canvas on it, um, saying it rips, um, it deteriorates pretty quick. Well, we we've had ours for several months, and um, we've had uh, no deterioration at ours, no rips, nothing like that. Um, but it is quite thin, uh, but it's the canvas to me that really makes the vehicle. It, um, I've seen people driving around um, without the canvas on them and to be honest with you, they look really horrible. So to me the canvas is the, the main thing that actually um, makes this vehicle what it is. It really, it really sets it aside and makes it stand out if you know what I mean. And um, but then maybe I just look after mine a little bit better than the other people because we don't we don't actually use this vehicle that often. Sometimes we like we get it out once a week, uh, but when we do get out, we always make the most of it. And um, like that, we've had no mechanical problems with this vehicle um, at all. But having said that, uh, there's a couple of little um, things I think um, I should mention. Uh, the first one I think I would talk about is the brakes. Now I've had quite a few people uh, mention the brakes. This is other Rassi, Rassi Chariot uh, owners and um, the brakes are not very good. Luckily the vehicle doesn't go extremely fast anyway because if you're behind a vehicle and um, you know, it's like in the city and you have to do a bit of quick braking, um, you could quite easily go into the uh, back of another vehicle because they really, they are really slow to uh, operate the brakes. Um, but I, I, I always keep my distance when I drive anyway, so you know, it's just something I think I should mention. Now, um, I've seen a lot of reviews on the Rossi Chariot, and um, the biggest problem I've had with it in my seven months, and I'm surprised nobody has mentioned this, well not that I've seen in any reviews yet, and that's the fact it's not got a windscreen wiper because it's been a few times that we've been out and about and in the evening, because it's mainly the evenings we go out we've been caught uh, in rain and when the rain hits this vehicle on the screen you seriously, um, you cannot see where you're going it's so, so dangerous and you have to pull over that sometimes, you know, when you're on the road to the Philippines there's not always somewhere to pull over so it, it is, to me that has been the biggest problem um, owning this Rusty Chariot is the fact it's not got a wiper. And it's caused me so many problems. Um, it's, I've got to the fact where I was actually thinking of taking the screen off because it's so, so dangerous, it really is. Um, why the manufacturers never thought to put a wiper on, um, I do not know. It's quite a simple thing I would imagine to put one on and um, I've actually seen a few I've seen one vehicle that had a wiper on it. It was obviously a DIY job because it had all like cables and things coming on the top and it looked a bit of an eyesore to be honest with you. But I think if it was done um, from when it's being manufactured it wouldn't be a problem. So if, you have, if this is the only thing this vehicle is lacking is the wiper. Um, because believe me, um, and I'm sure other Rashi Chariots will tell you, if you get caught um, out in the rain when you've got no wiper it's an absolute nightmare, and apart from it being really annoying, so, so dangerous. So would I say, uh, would I say this vehicle was a good value for money? Yes, I would. Uh, like I said, I've had no mechanical problems with this vehicle at all. Um, 
for 100,000 peso, it's changed our lives quite a bit and it's changed it for the better. Uh, apart from the few little niggly problems, uh, but you know, the wiper is the main one for me. Anyway, thank you very much for watching my video.